any gatherings of four persons or more will be prohibited uh, unless it has been specifically exempted under that piece of regulation. This was Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam's announcement the same day the city witnessed a record-breaking 65 COVID-19 cases on March 27. By Sunday midnight on March 29, the law had come into effect. When the day on, it was a moment no camera-flicking storyteller wouldn't want to miss. Authorities hoped that the move would curb the spread of COVID-19, which as of April 4 stands at 863. At least 173 of these have been discharged. I wanted to see how the domestic workers um, were responding to the government's um, advisory. And I'm at a place uh, called Victoria Park where the Indonesian migrant domestic workers usually gather. It was literally a walk in the park. On the streets, the absence of the Sunday market vibe lingered. And in the same space of longing, the remittance and telecom businesses that carried on, but not with the usual. Elsewhere in the renowned shopping district, it's a confusing message to digest from a government that's heavily campaigned on social distancing and yet is fitted with 80% discounts in stores that don't get 100% filled these days. It was a similar scene in Central, frequented by Filipino migrant workers. Chater Garden was jaw-dropping spotless, all the more over in Chater Road, and Statue Square stood still. Consequently, social distancing reigned at Worldwide Plaza. With other businesses, the manifestation came in the form of cross tapes on tables and chairs. I made a short hike up popular nightlife Lang Kwai Fong, where much of the silence has taken over. 95% of the establishments were closed, and those who were probably hoping to cash in on the opportunity didn't find much luck either. With establishments primarily selling alcohol now ordered to remain shut for the next two weeks, hopefully it will leave more glasses half full than half empty. Jan Yumel, Hong Kong.